everybody. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you've been wondering where I've been at, but uh, if you've noticed, I haven't uploaded anything lately. And that's because I was in the hospital for a while. Let me straighten this out. It's right there. Anyway, I was in the hospital for a while, and uh, not sure if any of you know that. Um, unfortunately, the reason why I haven't been uploading lately is because uh, I had to have my leg amputated and this is why I'm sitting in this wheelchair um, I'm doing much better than I was um, I had some health issues before and those of you who know me know my health issues but uh, back in 2007, I had to have uh, a bypass in my left leg from a blood clot that I got that just about killed me. Um, and they had to take out the artery and replace it with a vein. Lasted me for 14 years. Um, from what the doctors are saying now, that's four more years than what I was supposed to have. It was only supposed to last for 10 years, but I had a good 14 years out of it. Um, and it started to where my leg was just hurting me more and more every day. I was doing my walks every day, seven miles a day, and so I couldn't do them anymore because of the pain, the pain was just like, the pain was phenomenal, man. I'm telling you. Um, so I went to the hospital and they found that I had a, a blood clot in the groin, which wasn't a good thing because I already had, um, two aneurysms, and from what the doctors are telling me, that by the grace of God, somehow, the blood clot got caught inside the aneurysm, and that was a, a blessing, because the blood clot couldn't travel any further, and the blood clot kept the, uh, the um, aneurysm from bursting. So, basically, the blood clot kind of saved my life, again. But, um... My light just went off. But the, uh, they tried their hardest to save my leg, but they couldn't. So I had to have it removed. My, uh, leg was, my leg was removed from the, above the knee. And it's just a little obstacle now that I got a, I'm home healing. I just got home this past Wednesday. And, uh, I'm strong. I'm doing good. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be back, so please don't unsubscribe to me because I intend to make more videos for you. That's my passion. That's what I want to do. That's what's getting me through all this and trying to be strong and trying to get through it and fight through it like the, the trooper I am. Um, but if you can be patient with me, please just be patient. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. But I promise you, I will be back, okay? Um, I get my prosthesis within three months. And once I get that, there's not going to be any stopping me. I'll be like a brand new person. I'm already on my way. So just um, keep me in your prayers and I'll be back. So these ghosts better watch out. For the meantime, though, I'm going to probably do a couple of videos here in my home, being that everybody knows that I live in a haunted place. And uh, my niece and nephew will be back with me. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your patience. And, um, like I said, just please keep me in your prayers. And I love you all. Mwah. See you soon.